Hey everyone and welcome back to this new episode and we will continue working on the profile functionality. So as you can see right now if you click on the username it leads us to registration page. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix that. So if you go to the header component and uh, so as you can see the href function takes um, currently taking only one argument. So this function can actually take a an optional second argument. Um, so in this case, uh, we have to pass the username. So if you test, now if we, and also we need to change the route. So instead of register, it should be route slash profile. And if you invoke this, it will give us the href for this um, route. So let's replace the username to um, yep, and now if we save it, now if we click on our username, this should lead us to the um, the profile section. Uh, the new article route is not working, but we can worry about that later. So now that is done, um, what we are going to do is we are going to start implementing the. Uh, the component itself. So let's go and look see and see how this is implemented. So it's as you can see it's just GSX. So yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So for now, we're just going to have a placeholder string. Um, in this video, we won't be implementing the specific components, but uh, in the next video, uh, we will be finishing off with the profile page. Um, so for now, we're just gonna have some dummy text. And uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to declare the profile state, which is going to be a reagent atom. Actually, you know what, let's create a, um, instead of having the state over here, let's have it inside the, um, so let's create a profile namespace, a top level namespace within the app directory, and we'll name it profile. Uh, this is just following the convention that we have been following so far. So here, we're going to require reagent and uh, we're going to declare the profile state, the error state, as well as um, the API to fetch the profile of the username. So, um, so what we're going to do is, we're gonna require the profile in the, actually, no. What we need to do next is, um, let's go ahead and see in the react code how this is implemented so if we go to the uh, component will mount there we are calling the get function from the profile the get method and we are passing the username and um, if we go to the um, agent um, and if you look at profile.get we are calling the profile slash username uh, it's a get request. So next we are going to implement this in our closure script code base. So um, we're going to call uh, create a function called fetch and this fetch is accepts a single argument, the username and uh, the body we can copy from the let's copy the yeah so let's copy the register actually you know. Let's copy the, yeah, let's copy this me function and paste it in the profile page here. And let's modify this 
also let's include all the dependencies so that um, we don't get any error and here what we're going to do is we are going to modify this function so that we are calling um, instead of user we are going to be calling the profile endpoint as well as passing the username and we also have to um, write the success as well as error handler so that when we fetch the profile if we if the user exists then we reset the profile state with that information so for now let's just say that we are resetting everything and as well as we're going to write the error function for handling error and in this case we are going to reset the error state which we will soon implement so yeah below the profile state we are going to create another um, we're going to use another reagent atom so this is an error state for profile and it's got, the default value is set to nil and uh, if there's an error then we reset the error and we also have to update the handler as well as the error handler values and we don't need the header so we can delete the header from here awesome so the next step is to um, let's test this function using the REPL so that the function that we just wrote works as properly so if we invoke this right now this should be set to nil let's also open the let's copy the username and let's open the network tab to see the network calls and let's call the fetch function by using my username so learn UIDev 2021 and oh we have an error 404 not found oh because we have made a typo so there should be a dash after profiles again this is one of the benefits of using REPL because you can just immediately test it you don't have to wait for your test to catch capture this right so and now I think we are good um, so if you scroll this the second request yeah the response is 200 and in the response we have a profile um, key and the value is an object so if we uh, inspect the profile state we have the profile information awesome so the next step is to de destructure the profile and just save the profile so that um, so that it becomes easy for us later on when displaying this information so now if we fetch the username and uh, res um, and invoke the profile set and there you go this is our profile information so the next step is to display this information right um, so in the pages profile page we're going to require the profile state and we're going to refer to the profile state and um, what we are going to do is we need to show this profile page if and only if the profile stage uh, profile state exists right otherwise we we don't show this profile page awesome so now that is done um, next thing that we're going to do is um, so as you can see right now nothing is shown because the profile stage is nil so the next step is to actually call this function right and um, again we're going to call it in the routes um, so when we are entering the profile page and if as you if you remember from the previous video we were able to get the parameters from the props right so now that we have the username already from the previous page so we're going to call the fetch function and we're going to pass the username and now if you refresh everything should be okay everything is good now we are making the um, get request on the particular username in in this example it's me so I think we are good for now um, so there you go we have the profile state 
if the profile state did not exist then we wouldn't be seeing this component and we don't need to uh, we can delete everything from the argument and instead of uh, username com that coming from the argument we're just going to show the username of the profile state and yeah i think everything looks good so far um i think it's already 10 minutes already um, I'm going to cut this video here. In the next video, we're going to f implement all these components and we will be done with profile page. And uh, hopefully um, after this, um, after the next episode, we will finally get started with reframe. And I'm very excited for this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See you on the next video. Bye.